I know this is all voluntary. Why was it important for you to be here? Oh, anytime, you know, I'm the new guy now. So just a new defense, new scheme. It's one thing, you know, studying it on film and on paper, but I wanted to get out here, get with the guys and actually see it on field, on the field uh, just to get more comfortable before minicamp. So how's it look? Oh, it's looking good. You know, everybody's getting comfortable. Uh, surprisingly pretty clean for, you know, the early stages. Uh, I know a couple guys, it's their first week as well. So it's pretty clean and it's going well and we're moving in the right direction. In the past, I, I, in talking to people out in LA, you've always been a vocal leader. Is that easy for you then to come in and do? Is that is that just who you are? I think so. You know, it, it's coming around. You know, the first day I kind of, you know, I was surveying, you know, scanning, just getting, filling guys out. You know, I feel more comfortable now just talking and uh, making my presence felt. So it'll come, you know, as, as we move along. But yeah, I think it's just natural. Uh, just my personality. I love talking, talking trash, competing. So it, I just like having fun. and It's going to pay off. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Nate Ulrich is next. Hey, John. Good to see you. Hey, last time we talked to you after you signed, uh, you were telling us you're going to you know, uh, try to get in contact with Grant Delpit and, and Ronnie Harrison. Um, I'm just wondering, how's that gone? What have you learned about those guys since you signed? And, you know, do you have any little bit of a first impression on what Grant Delpit looks like coming back from the from the um, big injury. We saw him out there practicing today. Oh, yeah. Uh, first impression, extremely smart guys, you know, intellectual football IQ is very high. And that's, you know, how I think I play. So we'll, we'll get along very well. But, you know, Grant's coming back. Uh, I've heard nothing but great things. Like he's working hard to get back. He's moving around out there. You know, it looks good. Kind of slowly easing him in. But I think we should be full tilt going into the training camp, man. I'm just looking forward to it. Thanks, Nate. Jeff Shadell, you're up. Hey, John, as a team leader, is there any advice you could give uh, Greedy Williams as he um, finishes up this rehab from that injury? Yeah, I mean, just attack each day, each rep, you know, one at a time and, and continue to get better. You know, he's a natural talent. So if he really locks in on just getting better and, and working on the things that that he doesn't do so well, which aren't many things. So just each rep, each day, one at a time, don't get ahead of yourself and uh, just get 1% better each day and he'll be a tremendous player for a long time. Thank you, Jeff. Tony Grossi, we'll go to you. Hey, JJ3, uh, is it too early to project what Joe Woods' three safety look will look like? I mean, do you know what the final product might look like yet? Or are you learning it? Uh, we got plenty of time before that, but we've heard a lot about his uh, hopes of incorporate all three of you safeties on the field together. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's a little early, a little premature. You know, once we get into game planning, I think it'll be, you know, different every week, honestly. But, you know, when you got three guys that can go, that can play, that you know can play, it's a lot, it's easy to, you know, create schemes and create blitzes, create patterns, coverages that, you know, we can all play and match up against different people. So I think during the season is when it'll really take full effect. But right now, I think it's just moving around, playing different spots for everybody out there on the field, not just to say these nickels, corners, dime linebackers, just seeing what we can do, how well we move and stuff like that. So I think during the season, it'll probably get exotic. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Tony. Scott Patrick is next. Hey, John. Um, I was wondering, I know last time we talked to you, the Browns had already made some moves on defense, but then Jadavian Clowney followed and then they draft, um, you know, Greg Newsom and Jeremiah. So what did you think of all the moves that kept coming after uh, your signing? Oh, it was definitely, uh, I felt like a defense heavy vibe. Uh, I don't know if, it, if that's what it is on paper, but that's the vibe that I got. And, you know, I think it's good. You know, you got to attack the things that you felt like you, lacked on in the past and in the previous season. And apparently that was, you know, the defensive size, a few things. I know like certain third down, certain distances, we were not so well at fourth down. We had to get better uh, in the red zone. We had to get better. So bringing the guys in that, you know, that can do it. You've seen them do it, especially, you know, like Clowney, you know, Troy Hill, it's on tape. So bring guys in that you know can, can play and help a culture of a team is awesome. So I think that's what the, uh, the Browns were attacking. With all those new faces, is there a concern that it's going to take a while for 
everybody to gel and get comfortable with each other? I don't think it's a concern, but it's definitely something that you got to uh, be proactive about. And that's why, you know, a couple of guys came uh, this week, you know, to, to stay on top of things before mini camp and then going into training camp, we'll be, we'll be firing more comfortable and we can uh, build that foundation so that we can actually, you know, start working on this beautiful house that we're about to build. Thanks. Thank you, Scott. Mary Kay Cabot, you're up. Uh, yeah, coming from a number one defense like you did, what kind of vibe are you getting so far about just how good this defense can be? Right. You know, yeah, that's a great question. You know, the schemes, they're always going to be different. All of them work. And the number one thing is the players. It's, it's always been about the players. And walking into this building, we got we got the players to, to do that, you know, to get to that level. Even the guys here now, I know some guys are still missing or, or they are gone for the week, but we've got the guys on paper to do it. So it's really just going out there, practicing, becoming great at what we do, uh, being technicians. And I think we, the sky's the limit. You know, I, I've seen some things, you know, ranking, projecting that we will be a great defense, but we're going to put this work in. We're going to keep building. I think, I think the sky's the limit for us.